Hey everybody, uh, we are going to start a video series on skinning 3D parts for our Aventador uh, lookalike project. Um, this is actually a part that we 3D printed in sections. Um, you can see one of the parts over here, you can see the glue lines. So all of those were printed in sections. And then they were butt glued together. And we used uh, this uh, epoxy, which uh, works really, really well. And it's not cheap. So it's about 25 bucks for 50 milliliters. But it holds parts together much better than, say, cyanoacrylate or super glue. Um, so anyway, what we do is we glue the parts together. We get them to fit on the vehicle. Um, and kind of line them up with the panels that we've already done. Uh, the rear fascia is actually the kind of master uh, panel that we line everything else to. Um, so, and you can also see that sometimes you get a little bit of gapping. Um, we're going to have to take care of that with some shims and whatnot. Um, this was the largest piece we did, which is the uh, engine cover. Uh, turned out pretty good, didn't warp too bad. Um, so once you get the parts glued together, um, you can see this kind of greenish stuff on here. And that is the Duraglass, which is a fiberglass filled filler. Uh, gives it a little bit more strength um, for the bagging process. And basically you slather it on and uh, what you want to do is you want to sand most of it off. Um, I've been using air tools, so uh, these are 80 grit uh, sanding discs. Um, and this is just a cheap Husky tool you can get from Home Depot. Um, but you can do it with many other types of sanding. Uh, you know, you can do it all by hand if you want to take a while. Um, but anyway, so we smooth it all out. It doesn't need to be really, really uh, finished like you were going to paint it. So what you don't want is you don't want lines to show through. Okay, so these bond lines, you can see them here, but you can't feel them. And that's kind of what you want uh, before you go to the skinning process. And so uh, the next video, we'll be showing you some of the tools uh, that we're going to be using for skinning uh, this part. Um, it's going to be a long and involved process for a part this large. And there's a lot of little uh, tips and tricks uh, I do hope to show you uh, as we move forward skinning uh, this particular part. So stay tuned. Um, part 2 is coming up soon um, where we will uh, start the carbon fiber process and go over some of the equipment that you're going to need to do this type of skinning. Thanks for watching.